so we got a gameplay reveal uh for chrono odyssey um i forgot this got like announced like a, a long time ago um but it's supposed to be like an mmo and unreal engine 5 so the actual first like next gen mmo i want to check it out see how it looks uh because it might look interesting might want to give it a shot when it comes out let me see here adjust the volume on my end okay all right let's do it well damn it already looks very good visually This gives me Black Desert vibes a bit. I wonder if it's made by the same company or a similar company. Cool enemy. Oh. Action looks good. Visuals look relatively the same uh, in gameplay as they do cutscenes. Oh wow, Jesus, that's Bruce and lost her arm. Very action oriented. Whoa, a source just like this freeze enemies in air. Oh, that's gonna be like a barbarian a warrior marauder type. What the? Oh, that's freaking cool. Oh, you can dual wield blades. Oh, that's sick. Oh, and then you get guns too. Wow. World bosses like these big. Why is it like monster hunter? Trey looks like something out of Moss Hunter. This does too. Moss Hunter like bosses? I mean, I'm down. Hmm. So you need like a party of six or 12 to deal with these like big behemoth creatures. Oh, you freeze time. And this can go ham. Wow. Oh, it looks like reverse time there. Jump back. What the? These character designs. What the? What am I looking at? The power of Unreal Engine 5, though, man. Oh, man. this is so, so freaking cool. Odyssey. All right. Cool. Um, it's the PlayStation version of it where we're checking out. But yeah, that's real interesting. Um, almost four minutes long. So and I, this is more coming out on more than just like PlayStation. Some on I think Xbox as well. I think it'll be on PC as well. Um, yeah. Let me see if there's any details here. Nope. This says next generation of world MMORPG will come to PS5. Um, wow, that's freaking dope. Uh, let me see. Hold on. So it's an upcoming MMORPG plan for PC consoles and mobile by South Korean Studio in Pixel. Okay. 
Uh, Corona Odyssey is slated to go into testing in 2021. So that's two years ago. Or for at least not 2023. Okay. Let's see. Uh, huh. Later. So, players explore the world of Satera, utilizing a powerful artifact to alter time called the uh, Chronotector. Okay. First glance, Satera may appear as a peaceful, beautiful land filled with nature. However, Satera is also now the front lines of, a, of the war against the Void. Which has been ongoing since the beginning of time. Um, at least in this universe. This land is filled with the dangers and chaos caused by twisted time and space. <coughs> and contradiction timelines. Okay. These same dangers provide countless mysteries and opportunities not afforded to any other world. Uncover the secrets behind Satera's timeline and find a way to save everyone, including yourself. Uh, the... Contactor is a powerful artifact said to have been created by a mysterious ancient civilization known only as the Great Ones. It holds the power to warp and manipulate space time to the holder's will. Though it has lost much of its original strength, it's still capable of twisting time and space to create effects uh, irreplicable by even the world's most powerful magic. I think that's all we got for now. Yeah, that's it. Wow. All right, cool. I'm be keeping a uh, lookout for this, keeping on the radar and stuff like that. So, um, I don't know if we'll have a paid monthly subscription service or anything like that. Maybe we'll get more details at Summer Games Fest or later in the summer on this. You know, with a release date, we'll see. This kind of came out of nowhere with the gameplay reveal, but yeah, it looks interesting. Uh, gives me like Moss Center vibes as well as Black Desert vibes. So, it was a combination of the two. We'll see. But yeah, 